वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन ऑफ द टॉपिक फ्रॉम फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री विथ आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया लेट एस सी कंटेन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक हियर फर्स्ट पॉइंट इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट इन दैट केमिकल इक्विलिब्रियम आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रियम देन टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट आफ्टर दैट डिफरेंट थेरीज आर देयर टू एक्सप्लेन द एसिड्स एंड बेसिस देन आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस ओस्टवॉल डायल्यूशन लॉ एक्सेट्रा ऑटो आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ वॉटर देन पी एच स्केल वॉट इज मीन बाय पी एच पी ओ एच पी एच स्केल एक्सेट्रा देन हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ सॉल्ट हियर सॉल्ट देयर टाइप्स देयर हाइड्रोलिसिस एक्सेट्रा देन बफर सोल्यूशन एंड देन सोल्यूबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट एंड द लास्ट वन इज कॉमन आयन इफेक्ट एक्चुअली दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर प्रैक्टिकल ऑल्सो ओके Mostly this part is useful in practical as well. Okay, in this session we are going to learn the first these two points: introduction and types of electrode, and the question based on that part. Okay. Let us see first part: introduction part. Consider one reaction. Suppose X converted into Y. Here, x is completely converted into y. That is, reaction takes place in only one direction. That is, irreversible reaction. Okay. Now, let us see another example. Suppose A reacts with B to form C and D. Again, C and D reacts to form A and B. That is, here forward reaction takes place as well as backward reaction takes place. That is, it is a reversible reaction. Okay, you studied this part in eleventh standard. Now, for reversible reaction, the equilibrium exists. That equilibrium is a chemical equilibrium. Yes. Now, consider another example. Suppose here acetic acid. Dissolved in water, okay. Then it dissociates as ionized as acetate ion and hydrogen ion. Okay. Again, here equilibrium is there. Now here the equilibrium between ions and unionized molecule that is called as ionic equilibrium here the equilibrium between ions and unionized molecule in the solution is called as ionic equilibrium actually in this topic we are going to learn in detail about the ionic equilibrium the principle used for chemical equilibrium are same for ionic equilibrium now this topic is very simple easy to understand and very interesting now let us consider next second point types of electrolyte okay actually the substances are classified into two types see here is a substances classified into two types as electrolyte and non electrolyte actually we are considering here substances that is when dissolved in water that is we are considering their aqueous solution okay now consider non electrolyte non electrolyte that is the substances when dissolved in water do not ionize that is do not ionize okay the examples are glucose fructose sucrose urea glycerin etc that is when they dissolved in water remain in the molecule state as a molecules 
do not gives ions okay next now electrolyte electrolyte that is the substances when dissolved in water gives ions that is they ionize them the examples here NaOH acetic acid HCl NaCl etc okay now these substances when dissolved in water gives the ions now depending on the extent of ionization how much ionization takes place based on that the electrolytes are classified into two types as strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes Now, here strong electrolyte means they completely ionize or almost completely ionized here. While the weak electrolyte are partially ionized. So here you have to mention this part here. Completely ionized, ionized completely or almost completely. And here these are not ionized completely, that is, these are partially ionized. That is, here ionization at a smaller extent. Okay. Now, here the ionization completely takes place, that is, dissociates completely. So, here the examples are consider here the strong acids strong base and salts why here the examples are weak acid weak bases weak acids and weak bases are do not undergo complete ionization okay now consider one example for example scl scl when dissolved in water that is its aqueous solution it gives h plus and Cl minus ions. Okay. Here. Okay. Now here, here ionization takes place completely. That is, reaction goes to completion. Therefore, show the arrow. It is a single arrow. Remember this thing. Okay. Next. Here, consider one example. Any example, suppose NH4OH, NH4OH, ammonium hydroxide, if dissolved in water, then it partially ionized, that is there exists, equilibrium exists between ions and the undissociated molecule. Yes, that is, reaction does not go to completion, Therefore, show the arrow like this. A double-headed arrow. Okay? That is, here, for strong electrolyte, complete ionization, therefore, show the arrow like this. For weak electrolyte, partially ionized, therefore, show the arrow like this. Now, for weak electrolyte, if they are partially ionized, then how much Extent, extent of ionization that is called as degree of ionization. How much? Now consider that part. Let us see now degree of dissociation. It is denoted by symbol alpha. Okay. Next. Now what is meant by degree of dissociation? Consider one example. Suppose 10 moles of an electrolyte dissolved in water okay 10 moles we are considering just one example then out of that 10 moles suppose two moles of that electrolyte dissociated then the degree of dissociation is this one that is out of this 10 two moles gets dissociated okay then we can write the formula for the degree of dissociation alpha is equal to here it is a fraction. Okay. What is this one? Total number of moles. Total 
number of moles. Okay, and this one, the number of moles get dissociated. Number of moles dissociated. Okay, now in the exam definition may be asked, define degree of dissociation. Then you have to write the definition in a book language that is as given in the textbook. Definition, here degree of dissociation of an electrolyte is defined as it is a fraction of total number of moles of an electrolyte dissociates into its ions when equilibrium is attained. Okay. Now, here alpha is expressed in a fraction form. It may be expressed in a percentage form. Percentage dissociation. Percentage dissociation. Yes. Alpha percentage that is 100. That is the alpha into 100 that is percentage dissociation. Now that is here alpha expressed in fraction form and in a percentage form. Okay. Next consider one more example here. Suppose one electrolyte Ba when dissolved in water it dissociates as B plus ion and A minus ion. Okay. Then suppose the concentration of this electrolyte is a C molar. That is molar concentration is C. Now we know that the concentration is equal to Number of moles divided by volume of solution in liter. You studied this one. The unit for this is molar concentration. Or you may write the unit here N by V that is number of mole, mole per dm cube. Mole per dm cube. Both are same. You may write this or this one. Okay. The concentration is supposed is C molar, then the equilibrium concentration of this cation is alpha C molar. Or you may write alpha C mole per dm cube. And for the anion, alpha C molar. Okay? It's about the information about degree of dissociation. Now, in this session, you studied the introduction part, then types of electrolyte, degree of dissociation, here we get the two formulae here. Now let us see the question based on this part. Okay. Let us see question based on this part. First question, define ionic equilibrium and degree of dissociation. I already explained this part. Each definition carry one mark. Next, what are electrolytes? How are they classified? What are electrolytes? Write the meaning or definition of that. And then their classification as a weak electrolyte and strong electrolyte. Give examples of each. Okay. Explain with example. Okay. Now, actually this session is very simple one. Now, let us see. In the next session, we are going to learn the different theories to explain the Acids and bases. Okay?